Hi there, and Wikjaloo Venro Huxwixy Uxer. You see what I did there? I was speaking encryption. That's just how I roll. If you don't know what it means, then good, that was the point. But I'll show you how to decrypt it by making your own encryption programs. We'll make it using the VB scripting language. Why? Because VB scripting is stupid simple. Don't like stupid simple? Then good luck using whatever language you want. But I'm gonna stick with stupid simple. Alright, first we need to set the mood. So grab a Red Bull, licorice sticks, sit eerily in a dark room with only the glow of a computer monitor on your face, crack your knuckles, slouch precariously over your keyboard, and let's do this. The only other tool you need is Notepad and Windows. If you got a Mac, then use Text Edit, and you'll need to find an Apple Script version of this instead of VB Script. And be sure to do this at a Starbucks and profess how Bill Gates is evil while sipping a latte so that the other Apple fans surrounding you don't burn you at the stake. Just saying. Anyway, to encrypt a message is to convert it to something else using some kind of algorithm called a cipher to make it unreadable. Why would you want to encrypt something? Well, in the olden days, it was to get a letter from one place to another without the fear of someone intercepting it and reading it. Nowadays, it's to send data like emails from one computer to another without the fear of a hacker intercepting it and reading it. So first in our script, we need to make an input box that asks for a message to encrypt. We'll call the message my secret. Now we need to come up with some type of algorithm to use as our cipher. Let's make a function that reads each letter of the message, takes it, advances it five letters in the alphabet, and then reassembles it as a different message. It should look something like this. Then to make it even more cryptic, we can reverse the message before it gets encoded. So far, this program can encrypt our message, but as of right now, we'll just have to imagine what it is. So let's have the program open up a new notepad window and type out the new message. But let's make it wait a few seconds first so that the program has time to encode the message. Save the program as encrypt.vbs and as file type all files. Give it a test run and see if it works for you. Well done. But what good is this gibberish if the person you're sending it to has no idea how to decrypt it? What we need to do is make a decryption key that we can send to the recipient ahead of time so that they can decrypt the message. In a new notepad window, copy and paste your encryption script. All we have to do now is make it undo everything that we just did. So reverse the message and have the algorithm subtract five letters in the alphabet instead of adding it. Then we'll just leave it to write the decrypted message in a new notepad window. So save this as decrypt.vbs, again using all files. What you should do is give your recipient this decryption key. Then whenever you need to send them a secret message, use your encryption script to encrypt it and just paste the encrypted text in an email or tweet. If your cipher is completely original and no one else has the key, then only the intended recipient will know what it means. If you want more information on encryption, as well as the VB script and Mac alternatives, visit the project page here. Be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.